Welcome back to the channel, you guys. We are on the road again, and this time we are actually in the RAV4. Sadly, we are not in the van. I think this is the first road trip we've been on since January when we bought the van um, that we have taken the RAV4. So it feels kind of weird, I'm not going to lie, but we were in Kalamazoo for a commercial shoot, and we were driving all over the place, and we just didn't want to waste a bunch of gas in the van. So we're in the RAV4 because today we are actually heading up to Alpina, and we're going to be working with the tourism board to capture a bunch of fall content for them around a bunch of locations in the area. So thank you to Visit Alpina for sponsoring this video. We have a fun couple days planned. We've been to Alpina before in the summertime, and I will link the video if you guys didn't see last summer when we went there, and we absolutely loved it. So I cannot even wait to see what it's going to look like in fall color. We got like a four-hour drive ahead of us, so I guess let's get to it. All right, you guys, we made it to Alpina. We just checked into our hotel, the Holiday Inn, right on the river, right in downtown. But we're gonna head to our first stop, which is the Alpina Wildlife Sanctuary. Right in the center of town, the Alpino Wildlife Sanctuary features 500 acres of gorgeous wetlands that make a home for a variety of different wildlife. We actually went kayaking through here last summer and it was such a relaxing paddle. But this time we decided to walk the trails to take in all the fall colors. On our way out, we spotted a few deer walking around this huge cemetery that had some epic fall colors, so we had to make a quick stop. I'm not much of a drinker, but we were invited to the Austin Brothers Beer Company for their launch of their new Dark Sky Stout, and they even had these super fancy telescopes set up, and I was shocked at how much we could see on a clear night right from the middle of town. The next morning, we headed north of Alpena to the largest waterfall in Michigan's Lower Peninsula. And I honestly didn't even know we had any waterfalls south of the bridge, but it's only a five minute paved walk down to the falls from the parking lot. Then we headed to get some cider and donuts from a spot that came very highly recommended and it did not disappoint. The donuts were seriously incredible and they even had a tasting room that's famous for their hard cider and wood-fired pizza. Then we made our way towards Presque Isle to check out the two lighthouses in the area.
The Alpena area is known for its massive sinkholes, so we made our way towards a few that are pretty easy to access. They make a cool stop in any season, but it was even more special with all the fall colors. We made it back into town just as the sun was setting, so we walked around checking out some of the old buildings and murals before heading to dinner. The next morning we grabbed some coffee and made our way towards Rockport State Recreation Area which is easily becoming one of my favorite state parks in Michigan. It sits right on the shores of Lake Huron and includes a massive limestone quarry where you can actually hunt for fossils and check out even more sinkholes. The park has tons of trails but one of my favorite parts is this huge limestone hill that you can climb to the top of for an epic view of Lake Huron and that crystal clear Caribbean blue water. We grabbed some lunch in town and then took a quick walk at the Norway Ridge pathway before heading out of town. The trail is just a few minutes from town and features 10 miles of well-groomed trails. We continued south and stopped at a place I've had on my list for a while now. From the winding dirt road you take into the park, the massive stretch of untouched sandy beach, the 10 miles of hiking trails, or the backcountry camping sites right on the beach, Nagaguan State Park seriously feels like a little slice of paradise. I really think it's the most beautiful and secluded beach on Lake Huron. The last stop was a Sturgeon Point Lighthouse, another spot I've been wanting to go to for a while now, so catching it before all the fall color was gone was the perfect way to end the trip.
And that's it for this one. Huge thanks to Visit Alpina for sponsoring such an epic trip. And as always, check out the blog post linked in the description if you want to plan your own trip to Alpina. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.